Transformers Rise of the Beast. It's a 2023 science fiction action film based on the Hasbro Transformers toy line. And this movie is inspired primarily of the Beast Wars storyline featuring the Maximals. And this is the seventh film in the Transformers franchise, which this movie stands a standalone sequel to Bumblebee and a prequel to the first Transformers movie. It is directed by Stephen Cable Jr. and stars Anthony Ramos and Dominique Fishbach in the human roles. Peter Cullen returns as Optimus Prime. Ron Perlman is Optimus Primal. Pete Davidson is Mirage. Peter Dinklage is Scourge. And Michelle Yao is Arazor. This is really interesting because how could you do a sequel and a prequel? Well, they did it with this movie. And some of the moments are really interesting because the big bad villain in this is Unicron. The anticipation for Unicron in the Transformers franchise was big since the very first movie. Um, the franchise is fantastic and it's great. But knowing that Unicron is in this absolutely makes the movie a little bit better now the acting by peter cullen is there and he is a main focus point and the aspect of how everything is just just very different than what you usually see in a transformers movie now the reason i say that is because ron perlman as optimus primal is really really good who is on par with peter cullen doing voice acting for me that's ron perlman and him playing optimus primal is great the Maximals and the Beast Wars storyline from back in the day. If you were a child or a kid for that matter like me, you understand what this storyline is. And it was anticipated for the longest time to have this movie or a Maximals movie like that. Give me a standalone Maximals movie that I would absolutely love to see. Now, like I said, this is a standalone sequel to Bumblebee. And you find out where we are in the decade of certain areas or the settings where it takes place just based on the music. The music is really front forward and really prominent, like Bumblebee was, which was set in the 1980s with Haley Steinfeld. Now, the prequel aspect to what Transformers is is really, really interesting. And you would think like, okay, if this is the seventh film, where does it land? Well, it's kind of like Bumblebee kicks everything off. Then it's this movie, and then it's Transformers in a way. Unless they throw another movie in there in between, or the eighth movie is a, another prequel. Who knows? The action scenes are great. It's really done really, really well. Once again, the dynamic between the human characters, I didn't feel for them at all. It felt like the story was trying to push that to a really, really prominent point and a role, but it just didn't make sense. I mean... When you have a screenplay that's written by five different people and a story by one person, that's really hard to come by. Now, the Transformers are the main focus point. The Maximals are the main focus point. They're the ones that make this movie worthwhile. And the last 30 to 45 minutes is probably the best I've seen in a Transformers movie in a long, long time time i mean the action is great and just seeing how everything is in the dynamic and even how the cinematography works is really really fun the comedy aspect is still there it's still great it's forefront they never miss a beat with the comedy and there are some laugh out loud moments some moments where you laugh at the movie but then you know you're enjoying yourself but then all in all the one-liners are great certain aspects of how the humans interact with the transformers and how optimus prime still doesn't like the humans and you can see that and kind of in a way optimus prime is a slight slightly small villain in a way in his own right like trying to trust the humans but doesn't then we know why he doesn't trust the humans and we figure that out in this one but it's all makes sense and unicron being this big villain like they made it work with this unicron is the main focus point and is the main villain and they made it work, not like Fantastic Four did with Galactus, uh, you know, in Rise of the Silver Surfer. That didn't work at all. But with this, having a big giant thing that eats planets, it's like, wow. And the aspect of the ending is really, really good. There is a mid credit scene. And um, there is a fun little tease at the end of this where it features another secret government organization where I don't want to get into the spoilers or anything but it really really revs up of talking about a long long stored crossover movie event 
Could it happen? We don't know, but this movie kind of pushed that little forward, but we'll see what that other movie franchise does with it. Uh, this was a blast. I mean, if you're a fan of this Transformers franchise like I am, you will enjoy this. It's good to see Michael Bay not directing it. You could tell it wasn't him. I mean, but the explosions and the actions are still there, but it's not over the top at all. The human characters were good. Anthony Ramos stand on his own. I mean, it's very different than Shia LaBeouf and Mark Wahlberg, even though those two did their own thing with their movies, and it's just really, really fun. And like I said, you watch this for the Transformers, and that's what it is. It's a tra straightforward Transformers movie with the Maximals, and it's called Rise of the Beasts for some reason, even though, in a way, the Rise of the Beast doesn't occur in a certain way, but it's done really, really well to a point where you will have a fun, fun time. The movie runs for 127 minutes long. It had a budget of $200 million, and, I mean, I can see that this movie being another hit for the franchise and probably we get a few more sequels out of it and who knows we might get that big crossover movie event that we've been waiting for and that's been rumored for a very very long long time for me transformers or rise of the beasts get four out of five stars let me know in the comment section below what you thought about transformers rise of the beast did you like it did you not like it what did you think of it what do you think about the action the story and do you feel more for the human characters or the transformers did you like the voice cast that was in this uh movie and do you think that this was better directed than the other previous films by michael bay and do you think we'll get that big crossover event that they teased at the end of this and that's been rumored for a long time and do you see another transformers movie Movie happening and do you think the Maximals and the Beast Wars storyline will get their own standalone movie let me know in the comment section below about all the questions I just asked and let me know what rating you would give Transformers Rise of the Beast and be sure you click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for new review videos on my channel I'll see you all in the next review video and thank you for tuning in